Hello, Pittsburgh Steeler fans, and welcome to the latest episode of your Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate with me, your co-host, Owen. Pittsburgh going your voice from across the pond. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers, your flexible friend. No, we're not trying to sell a credit card. Don't worry about it. We're not going to try and sell to you some high percentage credit card. We're talking about the flexibility that Pittsburgh Steelers have in this forthcoming 2022 season. Now, we all know that Mike Tomlin loves position flexibility. He talks about it to death, doesn't he? He loves to have guys who can play in multiple positions. He loves the way that players can fill in, can do different jobs for him. Also, the Matt Canada system relies a lot on offensive flexibility. And I believe that Pittsburgh Steelers through the free agency period this year and also through the draft have really succeeded in bringing in a lot of very flexible pieces to their offense and their defense. So let's start on the offensive side of the ball, shall we? So on the offensive side of the ball, there is a great number of flexible players who can do jobs in a number of different positions. Now, prime amongst them, of course, is our pick in the 50, uh, pick 52 in the second round. This man here, George Pickens. And I'll be releasing a video on him as well at some point. Well, George Pickens is very flexible for the offense. He can do a number of jobs on the offense. He can play out wide. He can play, uh, he can get deep. He can come short for the ball. And due to the fact that he is a very strong player, he brings that excellent blocking ability as well. He's a bit like a Heinz Ward 2.0. Now, it's maybe sacrilege to call him Heinz Ward 2.0 now without the fact he hasn't played a game in black and gold. But that's a lot of what I'm hearing coming out of those people that have watched him play for the Georgia Bulldogs. There was a game that uh, springs to mind against Mich Michigan where he turned to the Michigan sideline, went shh. He then proceeded to block one of the defensive backs and pretty much chuck him 10 yards back. He then turned to the Michigan sideline again and went shh. Again, this guy has got attitude. He is a dog. And I really do think that he is one of the position flexibles. Calvin Austin, the third, the mini pocket rocket. Wow. Calvin Austin can play in the slot. Calvin Austin can play out wide like George Pickens can. Calvin Austin can come out of the backfield and run the ball. I think Calvin Austin has got real Debo Samuel type um, flexibility. He's got someone who can come on jet sweeps, can come on screen passes, can go deep, can come into the slot, can play so many roles for the Pittsburgh Steelers that can really throw and confuse the defence. The defence won't know what his intention is. Is it to take a screen pass? Is it to suddenly be out wide then to come around and jet sweep and take the ball? Or is it to play in the slot? What is he going to do? There is obviously going to be a lot of confusion at covering him this year, just like George Pickens. He can play wide, he can play in the slot. In addition to that, you've got Pat Freyamuth and all our tight ends. All our tight ends can block. All our Titans can catch. Zach Gentry, Pat Freyamuth are great blockers and great catchers of the ball. They can be put in on two tight end sets and really throw the opposition. Are they there to catch the ball? Are they there to block? What's the intention of using those two tight ends? Again, something that's going to really throw opposition defences. Adding to that the fact that Pat Freyamuth has also got the talent to play in the slot as well. He's physical. He's tough. He gets yards after catch. He's going to have a massive year this year. Again, one of those flexible pieces. Najee Harris can play out wide. He can play as obviously as a running back. He's an outstanding running back, but he can also play as a receiver as well. Again, position flexibility. There is so much flexibility in the offensive weapons the Pittsburgh Steelers bring to this 2022 season, along with those quarterbacks that we've now got in um, Mitchell Trubisky and obviously uh, Kenny Pickett, who can run with the ball. They can extend the play. They can extend the pocket or they can stay in the pocket pass. Again, flexibility at quarterback. Some think... OK, I know it's sacrilege. I love Ben Roethlisberger, but Ben Roethlisberger had lost at the end of his career. He'd lost a deep throw. He'd lost the ability to scramble. He'd lost the ability to extend plays. He was very immobile in 2020 and 2021. Something that uh, Kenny Pickett and uh, Mitchell Trubisky are certainly not. In addition to that, you've also got James Daniels and Mason Cole. Let's have a quick look. Here we go. Here's our flexible Steelers. So I've already mentioned there George Pickens. I've already mentioned Calvin Austin the third. Now I want to talk about James Daniels, guard, centre. Mason Cole, guard, centre. Even Daniels has been known to play tackle at times. These two guys are guys who can come into our offensive line, which badly struggled last year, and provide real position flexibility. Daniels has an understanding with Trubisky from Chicago. Mason Cole, who's played for the Cardinals and the Vikes. Again, they could play, be played at guard. They could be played in the center as a center they've got so much position flexibility there this offense is loading itself up 
big time for this 2022 season. And to all those doubters on ESPN and other analysts who are saying that we're the 26th ranked team this year going into the NFL season, what a load of garbage. See, they gave us minus six points differential if we played any team, any neutral team on a, on a, on a neutral field. We'd be six point underdogs against any team above us. And they put the Browns at plus eight. What a load of rubbish, guys. What a load of rubbish. So many flexible weapons. Now, let's turn to our defense. And let's start with this guy here, DeMarvin Leal. Now, DeMarvin Leal said he was putting some weight on. Mike Tomlin said that he shouldn't really be doing that because he doesn't know where the Steelers want to use him yet. But Leal is someone who can play in a number of different positions for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He can play as a defensive tackle. He can play as a defensive end. He can even play as a slightly oversized edge rusher like he did at Texas A&M last year. Again, he provides so many options for the Steelers and again will confuse opposition offensive lines and opposition offensive coordinators when he comes into the game. Where's he going to play? Is he going to line up as an end? Is he going to line up as a tackle? Is he going to line up on the edge opposite TJ or opposite Alex to really throw the opposition? He just provides so much, so many options for the Steelers to call so many different packages, so many different schemes, so many different ways of playing the defensive game. But the flexibility on defense doesn't just stop with DeMarvin Leal. It also extends to the secondary. Now, the Steelers' secondary is somewhere that's been, well, causing to, causing to a little bit of question, hasn't it? That, well, maybe, just maybe the secondary isn't quite as strong enough and is the weaker link of our defense. That I would argue with big time. Let's move to the Steelers' flexible safety crew. OK, here they are. Minka Fitzpatrick, DeMonte KZ, and Terrell Edmonds. Yeah, I know they've got Carl Joseph, they've got Miles Killebrew, uh, and they've got Trey Norwood. But these three guys are the three guys who are going to be the primary three in the rotation of safeties. Now, there's a possibility that the Steelers could well use some three safety looks. Brian Flores was notable for using three safety looks in his time in Miami where he founded an excellent defense. Just look at what that F Flores d defense did to the Ravens on that Monday night game, where they totally and utterly stymied the Ravens offense and shut down Lamar Jackson. The possibility here could be that DeMonte KZ plays deep. They let Minka Fitzpatrick roam and Terrell Edmonds moves up into a slot type role to help cover the tight end or to help st help stuff the run. Terrell Edmonds is excellent at run defense. He is excellent at coming up to the line of scrimmage and he is excellent at covering tight ends. Terrell Edmonds owns Mark Andrews. Mark, he is Mark Andrews' daddy. Now, for me, this gives us a great chance to have some three safety looks, to play with three safeties at times. Kazee and Minka Fitzpatrick as the regular safeties. Terrell Edmonds having that mid more role to come up forward towards the line to help support the run defense and, like I said, to track the tight ends. Again, safety flexibility. We've also got the cornerback crew, uh, our cornerback crew, Levi Wallace, who uh, in my video where I talked about him being, uh, never underestimate him. This guy's got character. This guy's got ability. He's got talent. He's going to be a quality cornerback. We've also got Cam Sutton and we've got Akella Witherspoon. We've got a three cornerback rotation here. Any three, any two of those three guys could play at outside cornerback. One of them could move into the slot if they wanted to. Again, they've got so many different looks. We've also got Molay as well, who can play nickel, can play dime. Lots of different packages. But these three are the primary three. They could fill in a number of different positions. They've got such good position flexibility. And the rotation as well, again, to go and really confuse opposition offensive coordinators. Who are we bringing in? Are we playing Sutton and Witherspoon? Sutton and Wallace. Wallace and Witherspoon. Who's playing who? Who's picking up what? Who's watching what zone? As we know, Steelers love to use zone defense. So which zone? Who's going to cover what zone? Again, it's going to throw opposition offensive coordinators with this flexibility the Pittsburgh Steelers have at the cornerback position this coming season. Guys, this team is set up, I think, to have a fantastic season. We've got some great defensive coaches in Brian Flores, Terrell Austin, Carl Dunbar, for example. On the offense, we've got Canada. We have got a new coach in Pat Mayer. We've got Frisman Jackson, who I think is sounding exceptionally impressive as a wide receivers coach. And get, I think get the best at CA3 and George Pickens. The flexibility the offense now has with players that can provide and play in a number of different positions, like Calvin Austin III, like George Pickens, like Pat, Pat Freyamuth, like Najee Harris. So much flexibility there. Not to mention Connor Hayward, who can play tight end, halfback, fullback. He can also play in a number of different roles. We could use him to confuse opposition as well. Is he going to block? Is he going to run the ball? Is he going to catch the ball? What's he going to do? And again, he's going to throw opposition defensive coordinators. 
This Pittsburgh Steelers 2022 team is your flexible friend. This flexibility will enable us to throw so many confusing schemes out there for the opposition, so many confusing packages that will really throw opposition defences and opposition offences. So, guys, I cannot wait for the 2022 season. And if you're watching this video still, please hit that subscribe button. Come and join the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate family, the best, new, freshest channel out there. And let's finish this as we always finish everything with, here we go, Steelers. Come on!